The first thing I do when I'm drawing a 3D model is to put it into an isometric view. So I'll come over here and change the viewpoint. When you look at the UCS icon, we can see all three axes equally. That's why it's called isometric. The most basic way in NanoCAD to draw a 3D object is to go into the 3D Tools tab and then select one of these shapes. In CAD, these are called primitives. So let me start with uh, a box. Notice that NanoCAD prompts you to pick the first corner. So I'll just click here. And then it says, choose another corner. And I click there. And then the height. And as I move my cursor, you can see the height interactively changing. I'll click, and there it is. And what we see is a wireframe model, which means these lines are the edges of the faces. You can change to a hidden line, which hides the edges that are would be hidden by faces, or my favorite, garage shaded with edges, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. Before going further, I should explain the nomenclature, or the, the names of the parts of 3D models. The part you're probably most familiar with is called the face, and that's the, the flat or curved sides of a 3D model. Faces are joined with edges, and those are the lines you see, for example, in wireframes. And then finally, at the intersection of edges is the vertex. That's the point where three edges come together. Even complex 3D models are made of exactly the same thing edges, faces, and vertices. Another way to create 3D models is to take 2D objects and then convert them to 3D. I'm going to show you a couple of examples. I'll draw a rectangle, and then up on the ribbon, I'll choose the extrude command. It prompts me to select an object, and I select the rectangle prompts me to select another object, but I'm going to press enter because I'm only doing one at this time. It has turned the rectangle into a box, and as I move my cursor, it is previewing the size of the box. I'll click, and I'm done. Another way to turn 2D objects into 3D is with Revolve. I will draw a rectangle again, but this time I'll also use the Line command to draw a line. And this line becomes the axis about which NanoCAD will revolve this rectangle. So let me go back into the ribbon. This time I choose Revolve. Again, it asks to me to select the object. Then I press Enter. Asks for a start point. So I'm going to pick one end of the line and the other end of the line. And as I move my cursor, you see how NanoCAD is revolving the rectangle around the axis. And where I click then is the final object. So two very different 3D shapes created from 2D rectangles. Once you've drawn 3D models, you can edit them interactively. To do so, select one and then notice the grips. The arrow grip lets you change the size taller and even go down below the baseline. The corner grips turn the shape into a trapezoid. The edge grips make it wider and narrower, as well as change the angle. In blue, you can see the original rectangle. The same is for the revolved surface. The arrow changes the length, moving the grip on the associated axis line, changes the radius, and edge one makes it wider and narrower, and this edge one shrinks it down or expands the size. 